Hello, hello. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jessica Hazeman, and I'm just a mom trying to live a stress-free life by keeping my home organized and having a cleaning schedule. So I share all the tips and tricks to do that. And today I'm gonna to show you how to fold laundry with this nice big old load of laundry for my daughter in her nursery. So. All right, before we dive into the folding, I wanted to show you the inside of our dresser. So this is what we've been using um, up until, I mean, she's six months already. We've been using this since she was a newborn. In this top drawer, we have her footies, bows, smaller bows. We have pacifiers and teethers, some hats, and then socks and gloves over here. Um, and we use these drawer dividers, again, for even the accessories. They're just a really good size for all of the baby supplies. In the second drawer, you can see we have clothing. On the left, we have footies. Um, then we have some pants and tights. We have short sleeve onesies and then the long sleeve ones. And you'll see we fold in outfits, so that's how they're in the drawers. And then the next one is items that she's not using as frequently, like swimsuits and swim diapers, and then her next size up of clothing. On the left side of the dresser, we have diapers and wipes, and then we have these containers of smaller items. So in the back, we have nail clippers, brushes, sunscreen applicator, and then we have these little pouches. Um, they have the attachments for the nail file as well as the charger for the nasal aspirator. And we don't need really easy access to these, so they're kind of stuck in the back. And then in the front are the more frequently used items like nasal spray, hand sanitizer, the thermometer, nail file, um, the butt paste um, applicator, this blue thing, as well as the um, nose Frida nose picker. And then on the right side, again, the back is the um, medicine that she's not using as much, um, like the baby Tylenol that she's never used, this teething ointment from Earthly Wellness, as well as their vitamin D cream, and we also have vitamin D drops depending on what mood we're in. And then in the front, we have the regular um, diaper balm, some skin repair, as well as a little um, mason jar full of clean pacifiers, and things for me like chapstick. In the second drawer, we have all of her swaddles and blankets, as well as burp cloths and bibs. Um, they're all folded to fit perfectly in the organizers, which I will be showing you later on in this video. And then in the bottom drawer, we have all of the bassinet and crib sheets, as well as the mattress protectors, um, some spare ones, and then we have these big quilts over on the right-hand side. These drawer dividers work perfect for little kids' clothes, but they're also really great for adult clothes. You just have to fold them to fit in. So I'm gonna show you how to fold the baby clothes um, or toddler clothes or however to fit them into these drawer organizers. So first up, we are just going to um, do a regular bodysuit. Um, it's long sleeve because we are in winter right now in Illinois. So I'm gonna first lay it flat. The front is gonna be facing the dresser. Now, if it doesn't have sleeves, you're, you probably can skip this part, but if it does have sleeves, you're gonna fold those in. Now you want the sleeves to match the width of the organizer because that's gonna be how wide it is when you fold it. So we've got the sleeves folded in. Now I'm gonna fold the butt up. Um, so it's the depth of the organizer. You can see that the organizer is just about three inches um, high. So we're gonna have it be about three inches of a fold so that it fits perfectly in there. Um, once I have the top folded up, I'm gonna fold the bottom down and I'm gonna fold it again. And now it's gonna fit perfectly in my organizer. That being said, um, when you have you know, the arms folded in, you can, if you prefer, just roll it. Um, it's gonna look almost identical and it's gonna fit just the same. It might be a little bit shorter, but it works just as well. Um, it, one thing that I've learned about being a mom is that I hate creating outfits. I also, like my husband, he will not create an outfit at all. So I like to have the outfits already made in here. So you can see we've got the tights with this dress. Um, these ones are just the full outfit. They don't have any other parts, so those are just by themselves. But the pants are always with the shirts, or the tights are always with the dresses, if need be. So I'm gonna show you how to do that with these tights that go along with this outfit. I'm gonna fold the tights in half, 
And then I'm gonna put the opening, the waist, down at the bottom and have the toes up at the top. If they're a little bit long, just fold a little bit so that they fit right on top of that onesie. And then you're gonna do the same thing, either roll or fold, fold, fold. And now you've got this little outfit bundle that fits perfectly in your organizer. So that's how I do onesies. Now I'm gonna show you a few different other complicated um, things that we fold to put in for their clothing. But okay, so here is another example of something that you might have. We've got the short sleeve onesie. We also have shorts. Here it is. And we also have a bow that goes with it. So I'm gonna start by folding the bow into like a smaller um, size. And then I also have the shorts. I'm gonna move those to the side. And again, I'm gonna take the front of the onesie and place it down. I'm gonna fold the sleeves in so that it matches the width of there, as well as the sides. The sides go a little bit out, so I'm gonna have those folded in as well. Now I'm going to add the shorts. I'm gonna fold them in half, actually. I'm gonna fold them not even fully in half. I'm just gonna fold them so that they fit well in there. And again, I'm gonna have the waist down by the butt. Then I'm gonna add in the little bow. Um, I'm gonna make that fit right up here. And I'm gonna do the same process. It looks a little bit more complicated here on the, on the table, but I'm gonna fold up once. I'm gonna fold down once, and then I'm gonna meet in the middle. And now I'm going to store that actually in the short sleeve section, and it fits perfectly. So that was a big outfit right there. Um, next up, we've got some um, pajamas. So another thing that I've learned along the way is not to zip up pajamas because you wanna be able to grab them out and use them um, and not have to deal with the zipper when you're putting them on and off. So there's really no point in doing the pajamas, um, zipping up the pajamas. That being said, um, because I'm doing the pajamas with the zipper open, I keep them face up. So I start with them face up. I fold in the arms just like before. I fold up the legs until the butt um, is the ending. So we, want, we don't want the opening to be here. So the zipper we want completely in the middle. So we fold that all the way up and then we do the same. It's just a three fold here. So we fold it up once and fold it up twice. The larger sizes, you'll definitely have more folds, but the goal is to make it the same height so that it fits in the organizer. So that's footies. We have another complicated outfit um, to show you. So this is a little dress that has a shirt that goes under. So we've got strappy little straps, the actual dress, um, then we have a shirt that goes with it, and then we also have some pants that are inside out um, that go with it as well. So I know that I'm gonna put the pants, I'm gonna fold those in half. Um, I want the dress showing, because this is the staple of the dress, so I wanna be able to see that in my um, organizers when I'm looking for it. So what I'm going to do is actually look at this and figure out how can I have it nicely portrayed, and what I think I can do is use the dress um, the opposite way, not going how it normally faces, but turning it and using it this way. So I'm gonna fold the straps down. I'm gonna take the little shirt and I'm gonna fold that and put it, make sure it fits, that's not perfect fold. We'll fold that a little bit more. And then I'm going to put that right in the middle. I'm gonna fold this top part over. Oop, gotta add the pants, almost forgot. I'm gonna fold the top part over and then I'm gonna fold, and it's almost like a roll at this point. But now you can see I've got the whole thing packaged up here and it's got a nice um, top to it. So I know that it's, oh, that cute little dress outfit that goes right there. Um, we've also got um, rompers. Rompers are very similar to um, the pajamas. The only difference is um, the, it's sometimes hard to fold the bottoms because there's so many buttons. So you might want to button a couple of buttons, but I don't always. I'm going to fold the arms in and I want to make sure that again, it's just as wide. This one's a little wider, so I'm going to fold in the sides to make it um, smaller. I'm going to fold up the legs just like the jammies and then I'm going to fold to have the little outfit just like so. All right.
Oh, and then the last thing is we've got um, sweaters. So you can obviously fold a sweater. What I would do is always fold the hood down first, fold the arms in, and then fold like so. So that fits in there. Because the sweater is just something I'm adding to the outfit, I don't want to store these with them. I would either store them in a separate place, store it as an outfit if need be, but I actually like to hang my sweaters. So here's what I do. I've got these cute velvet hangers from Amazon. Um, they are perfect because they're not gonna slip off, um, which is really nice. And they're also little and small, so they'll be able to fit. So I can either um, put it on just like you normally would think and stick it in the arms, hang it up that way. Um, very cute, you can button one if you'd like. All right, so that's how I fold all of the clothes for the dresser. I'm gonna show you a few other things that I fold to put in the dresser and just exactly how I do it. So I'm gonna put this organizer away. Um, next up is um, pants. I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I fold pants. Again, they're still in the organizer. I just have them laid out just like so. You can see the, um, they're all like that. Pants are super easy. Um, I do keep pants in case like the other pants get soiled. Um, I do have a spare backup, but again, I'm not making any outfits out of these. Fold it in half, um, lay it down, fold the butt in if necessary. These really little sizes, you really don't have to. I'm gonna fold the top elastic part down and I'm gonna fold the um, bottom up and tuck it in so that it stays folded. So now you have this cute little tuck fold and you can store them right on, right in there. So that's pants. I'm gonna quickly pull out a swimsuit. We're getting ready to go to Florida. It's the exact same as a onesie, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a show. Um, you put the front casing down, fold the arms in, fold the sides if necessary, and then fold up, fold up again, and there you have it. All right, I've got two more, a uh, few more things to show. Um, how to fold a swaddle. Um, for me, again, you just wanna make sure it's the width. So whatever your typical like towel folding technique is will probably work. You're just gonna add some more folds. So for this, I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm gonna fold it in half again and that swaddle fits perfectly now. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it down so that both ends are together and I'm just going to roll it up and stick it in and that's all I do for the swaddles and I store those in the um, drawer as well and then a couple of other things are we've got um, bibs which my baby has not yet started wearing but what I do is I just again have it folded out tied together velcro together however you have it um, this one's actually a pretty um, unique bib so it's not going to be the best to show you let me pull out a smaller one so um, I've got the knob, knobs together, the <laughs> buttons together. I want it to be the width, right? So I'm gonna like give it a little bit extra so that this is gonna uh, take up all of the space in the organizer. And then I'm just gonna fold in the sides, fold up the bottom, and then fold it again to get that nice little crease fold that will fit good in the organizer. Um, and then last but not least, we've got some um, bib uh, diaper inserts, which is what I use for burp cloths. I was going to call them a burp cloth and you're probably like, what the heck? So here we've got the burp cloth. Again, mine are perfect size that I can just fold it in half and it's going to fit perfectly. Um, and then I like to fold it in half one more time and then try fold it. So just like the onesies, it's all about getting it to be the right width and then try folding. Um, now that I'm saying that that was the last thing, I've got a couple of others um, still using the drawer organizers. So down at the bottom, I've got both crib sheets and mattress protectors, and then I also have bigger quilts. Um, we've got three big quilts. I'm sure all of you guys have these quilts because they are um, very common for babies. So I'll show you how to do both of those. One is the crib sheets, the bassinet, sh bassinet sheets. Um, it's the same as folding a bigger fitted sheet, which I love to show people. Um, you're going to grab one of the outside corners and you're gonna bring it to the inside of the opposite corner, okay? You're gonna do that on the other side as well and it's going to um, 
form into this big elastic band and you're gonna lay that down and make a C. So now you've got a good curve with this elastic corner. Um, and then you're going to fold in because you want them to be the same, that width, and then you're gonna fold it in half. And now that's gonna store perfectly in my organizer. The thing about the organizers is that all of this folding, the organizers are the perfect size to keep things nice and tight together and folded so that you're not having to deal with messy drawers. So I really, really suggest getting drawer organizers if you haven't. Um, put them on your registry if you are at that stage or invest in them. Um, I have those linked for you. Now, for big quilts like this, you're gonna have to fold depending on how big your drawer is, either folding it in half and another half, folding it tri-fold. Um, you can always adjust a tri-fold by simply not going completely over. So if I needed this length, this width, this width, however you'd like. Um, ours is a little bit wider, so I'm gonna do a tri-fold and leave it just like so. And then same thing, I'm gonna fold it so all the frilly ends are together and then I just go ahead and roll. And now I've got a nice little quilt that I can store in my drawer. So hopefully you're able to see how I fold everything. Um, if you have any questions or specific things you wanna see me fold because you're stumped, let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be posting lots of things that are gonna make your home a little less stressful.